So we learned this morning that Jonathan Taylor had surgery on his ankle. Now we knew throughout the entire season he was, you know, in the beginning of the season he suffered that high ankle sprain. Once a running back suffers a high ankle sprain, you know, he could come back, but it is very rare for that running back to come back and really perform like, you know, like himself. And Jonathan Taylor struggled to do that. Now, the surgery that he went and got, it's for an ankle to clean up some bones, some, you know, maybe fragmented bones, maybe some tissue, stuff like that. And it is expected to be a four to six week recovery timetable, but it's off season, so not really too much concern there. Uh, you know, it could be longer depending on complications, but like I said, it's off season. So he will be ready by training camp. He said he will be, um, I fully expect him to be ready by training camp. Um, you know, I'm happy that they got it taken care of now. I'm happy that the Colts didn't try, you know, didn't let him try and see if it was okay. Uh, you know, they went, you, you know, they went, they got it done. They got it taken care of. And it is very important, especially when you have a running back, you don't, you know, any player really, especially star, you don't want to mess around. You want to make sure you get stuff done, especially in the off season. In the beginning, uh, you know, get these surgeries done, get this stuff done. You know, that's the mistake that the Rams made last year with Matthew Stafford. They didn't really um, attend to his to his elbow injury until it was too late, and you know he didn't have enough time to recover. He had the problems with training camp. Uh, you know, he played a little bit, and I was right. I predicted it spot on. I said he will not last a full season. Now he had a few other things, but I said he will not last a. The full season because he had tendonitis as well. That's a common baseball injury, and tendonitis tends to take a while to heal. And you know, I'm getting off track here, but you know, I'm just giving you a scenario where you know a team didn't get it done when they should have, and look what happened. I mean, the Rams weren't good as it was, but point is, I'm happy that the Colts got it taken care of. They weren't messing around. They got the surgery done. Get it out of the way. Let him recover. And let him try to get back into shape a little bit. Now, of course, when you go through an injury or you go through surgery, be a little bit out of shape. So you know it's phenomenal they're getting it done now. So so he's gonna have a chance to get himself back into somewhat shape. Uh, as, you know he'll be fine. But um, you know it is gonna be time to start talking about his contract extension soon. He's gonna be wanting a paid suit, and you know that's gonna be a very interesting, interesting debate, interesting talk. Do we resign Jonathan Taylor? Is he going to want a lot of money? Absolutely. He's a very good running back now. Um, you know, you go back to when we drafted him. Um, that was one of the knocks on him is he had a lot of tread on the tires coming out already, meaning that he ran the ball a lot. And that was one of the knocks. Another knock was fumbles. but And fumbles was an issue this year. A fumbling was a problem. So that needs to figure out that, that needs to be figured out for next year as well because that was a problem. Some key moments he fumbled. In that Eagles game, he fumbled. That's the one on top of my head. But um, I'm happy they got it done. You know, it's just a little injury update we have here for Jonathan Taylor. So if you enjoy Colts content, NFL content, there's so much for, for, for us to talk about. So like, subscribe, put the post notification bell on so you don't miss any of it. I promise you this is a place to be. This is a place to be, man. So if you enjoy football, as I said, Colts, make sure you like, subscribe. Do all that, and um, I'll catch y'all later. This is JW, Sports Talk Show, signing off.